Hey Bumblebees! Today I'm going to be showing you how I use my Bando agenda or planner as a daily journal. This is something I've done since high school and I think it's the best way to kind of document my days without having to feel so pressured to write a long journal entry. One thing I really really love about this Bando agenda is that each month has a color theme and for January it was red. As you can see, during the week, I used a lot of red and pink to decorate the page to kind of continue on with this red theme that the planner was going for. I watched Little Women this week, so I stuck in the movie stub from that day. For the month of April, the color scheme was navy blue. This was actually one of the first weeks in quarantine, so I did a lot of crafting. And for this week, I sewed a lot of plushies, so I drew out the dolls that I made. To fill up any empty spaces, I put stickers and washi tape. For June's theme, it's a mustard yellow. The first thing I do every week is decorate the top of the page. In this spread, I used mini animal stickers to fill up the top, and in this other spread, I used washi tape. For this week, I decided to fill up the top with sticker flakes. I started out by filling the space with big floral stickers. All the stickers I'm using right now came from one set and I ordered them on Shopee. And if you want to see what shop I ordered them on, you can check it out in a haul on my channel. Once I kind of decided the layout of these bigger stickers, I pulled out the sheet of stickers I had that had little animals and little flowers and I just got every kind of yellow colored animal that was on the sheet. I put in these stickers randomly, just making sure that similar designs aren't too close to one another. To fill up blank spaces, I took out my yellow Crayola super tip and just put spots all around. Even after putting these dots, I felt like there was still a lot of empty spaces, so I pulled out that sticker sheet again and started sticking on some yellow star stickers that I had. Then I got this yellow Stabilo marker and put in more spots. Once I was satisfied with how the top looked, I continued on by journaling what I did throughout the week. I normally do this at the end of the day or at night before I sleep, but for the sake of this video, I did everything in one sitting. So for Monday, I took out my paper made flare pen and this dark mustard color. On this day, my dad bought my siblings and I Nintendo online. To decorate, I drew a Nintendo Switch. The colors I picked for the Joy-Con actually match the Pokemon Go version of the Switch with the yellow Joy-Con for Pikachu and the brown Joy-Con for Eevee. And I decided to draw this version of the Switch because I thought the colors matched the whole color scheme of that month. To stick with the color theme I've been going with, I just used the same markers that I used on top to color in the Joy-Cons. And then on the screen of the Switch, I made use of this yellow Stabilo Boss highlighter and just put in lines where I would later on write that my dad got us a Nintendo Online. On this day, I also visited my cousin's island at Animal Crossing, so I took out my puffy animal stickers and picked out a little frog to stick on the side. Then I used this paper made pen just to write what I did with my cousins. I had some extra space on the side so I took out a puffy sticker of an elephant to fill up that gap. Then of course I made use of my favorite black juice pen to write out everything else I did that day. 
I know not everyone's good at drawing, so what you can do is use stickers to kind of symbolize what you did that day. My brother and I have been practicing our skateboarding a lot recently because we want to be cool skater boys and skater girls. And I just make use of these cute little stickers I have of penguin skateboarding and I just use that to kind of show that my brother and I skated that day. One thing I always forget to do or just do later on is kind of just highlight the date. Just because when I decorate a page, I seem to fill out the box so much that the date gets kind of lost within the decoration. So here I just kind of highlighted each number just so I knew what day of the month it was. For Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys how I document a day where... I do a lot of different activities and I just want to remember everything I did that day. I normally do this by separating different activities with boxes. But for this day, I just highlighted every new activity I did and also used a sticker to symbolize that activity. On the top, I put a puffy sticker to show that I played Animal Crossing with my friend. And on the bottom, I put another skateboarding animal to show that I skateboarded with my brother. Now I'm just putting this big beach sticker because my mom and I made beach cobbler for the first time that day. And I'm doing the thing where I put the highlighter down first before I write. And I just do this because I notice my juice pen smudges when I highlight on top of it. And I just want to prevent any smudging. Next, I just took this computer sticker from a sticker book my cousin got for me. It's the Pip Stick So Many Planner Stickers book. When I watch movies, I like to give it a star rating and that's what I'm doing now. So I just drew out a box to write the title of the movie I watched, which was Fatal Attraction, and then I put my star rating under it. Under the star rating, I like to put who I watched the movie with and if I liked it. And in this case, I really like this movie. It was super fun. It's a thriller, so if you like horror or thriller movies, I suggest you watch Fatal Attraction. It is so good. I know not every day is going to be busy and there are going to be days where you're lazy and you just don't do anything and that's exactly what happened to me on Wednesday. So on days where I have nothing to write or I did nothing, I like to put either a quote or just a drawing and for this day I decided to do a quote that I just found on Instagram. The quote says, feel what you need to feel and then let it go. Do not let it consume you. I find a lot of my quotes on Instagram while I'm scrolling and if I really like one of them, I save the post and go back to it later on when I'm journaling to see if I could use any of the quotes in my planners. For Thursday, I wanted to show you guys how you can use washi tape to decorate your days. To fill up the empty space on top, I used a thin yellow washi, and on the bottom right, I cut out another strip with a cute bear on it. Then I pulled out this OMG Check Out These Cute Stickers sticker book from Bando and picked out a smiley face to stick on top. For some simple lettering, I pulled out my yellow Stabilo highlighter and wrote my caption in all caps. And then I went over that with my black juice pen in cursive. I don't have a sticker for every situation I'm in, so for this day, I decided to doodle. So on the bottom left, I drew a mahjong tile because I played mahjong with my grandparents that day. And then on the top right, I drew a face mask because that was one of the first times I left the house and I had to wear a face mask, of course, when I was out. To color in these doodles, I'm just using a Crayola colored pencil. When writing in my planner, to make it kind of like a journal, I use a colored pen to kind of just give a main idea of what I did. So for the yellow, I wrote mahjong with my grandparents. And then with my black pen, I kind of just wrote about how it felt to see my grandparents for the first time, how weird it was to just wear a mask when leaving the house. And I used black to kind of write deeper into my feelings or give more description of the activity that I'm doing.
To decorate Friday, I made use of that same bandeau sticker book. This was the day I saw my friend for the first time in three months. And of course, we social distanced, but we sat together, we just caught up, and we drank sangria. So I thought that girl's rule sticker was just so cute over there. On top, I put OMG and an emoji sticker of an iced tea drink, but I thought it kind of looked like sangria, so I stuck it in. Then I'm using this marker to do that same thing that I do where I just highlight the biggest part of my day. Then of course, I used my black pen to write about how it felt to see my friend and how I was just so happy to be out of my house. For the weekend, I put this thin washi tape to separate the two days. On Saturday, I babysat for the first time in three months. I actually babysit twins, and they're a boy and a girl, and they're the cutest little things, and I thought this sticker of two bears looked exactly like them. I actually spent the entire Sunday just reading, so... I put down some washi tape and a sticker of a bear reading a book. And I'm doing that same thing where I just use a highlighter to put down some lines and write on top of that. So that's it for this week of June. I hope you learned a lot from this video, got some tips from how I use this planner as a journal, and leave a comment down below if you do the same things as me or what you do differently. That being said, don't forget to like this video, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you honeybees in the next video.